Hello humans, today I'm going to show you how to make Lebanese flatbread, also known as shawarma bread. So in my bowl, I have added one cup of flour and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Mix that up together to combine and then I added in very warm water. The water should be very warm but not too hot that your hands won't be able to go in there. So I'm mixing that together with my wooden spoon to try and incorporate the water into the flour as much as possible to make a shaggy dough. Once that is done and I'm happy with that, I will drop the wooden spoon and get in there with my bare hands. Now if you have a hand mixer or a stand mixer, you're more than welcome to use that. But there's just something nice and therapeutic about kneading dough with your hands. If it gets too sticky, you can add a little bit of flour. But try not to add too much flour because you don't want the dough to be hard. This dough is supposed to be nice and soft. After kneading for about 10 minutes, my bowl is practically clean because all the flour has gone into the dough. And then I cover that for about 10 minutes to allow the dough to rest. It's important to let your dough rest because it will make it easier for you to roll out and shape. So onto my board, I have added some flour, then added a bit more flour onto the dough itself to make it easier so it's not too sticky. And then I'll cut that into sections and basically roll that into a nice disc shape to make my flatbread. So once I've rolled that into a nice round circle, I'll press it down to form a disc and then use my floured rolling pin to roll it out as thin as possible. I always try to make it as round as possible. It's usually hard for me. <laughs> it's not my area of strength, but I do try my best. If you can't get it as round as perfectly as you would like it to be, don't worry. I'm sure it would taste just as good. <laughs> so I'm picking up my flatbread with my rolling pin so that it doesn't tear and I'm placing that onto the other ones that I rolled earlier and it's time to make the bread so I put that onto a very hot pan with no oil it's just dry on very high heat and once you see the bubbles it's time to flip when you flip the magic happens you will see air fill into your bread this is a good sign it puffs up like a balloon and this tells you that your bread will be soft if your bread doesn't puff up, it doesn't necessarily mean that you haven't done it right. It might just mean that there are some holes in your dough that's preventing the air from being trapped. And that's all my bread done. Looking so gorgeous. So we're making shawarma. This is chicken and sausage. I'm adding some cabbage, some carrot, and my shawarma sauce. If you're from Lebanon, I'm so sorry. This is how we make shawarma. We don't use tahini and all that good stuff, but this is just as beautiful and delicious as well. Uh, you can toast it if you want, but I was too impatient. I wanted to get in there and eat it straight away. Look at how gorgeous that looks absolutely stunning i can tell you so i just went in there and i had a huge bite and yes it was delicious 